Today I'm going to be reviewing these washing mach machine suspension. They're called like springs or dampeners that I need to replace here on my washer. So this is going to be for my Amana washer. They do fit on a variety of different ones. Essentially, it's any of them that have these little lights and the push button to start. There's a ton of different brands besides Amana that all have the same common issue with them. Essentially, if your washing machine is shaking violently, then this is probably the part that needs to be replaced. There's this part and then one other possible part that could be it. I'm going to start with this one. Hopefully this will fix the issue. But essentially if your washer is banging around a lot while you're, while you're washing with it, especially during the spin cycle, then these are probably going to be the pieces that you need. So going to be relatively simple to do. You're just going to just disconnect it from your wall. Then you're going to remove three screws. So there's going to be one screw here, one screw on this side, and then there's going to be a one screw here that holds a little panel on right here. Now the front here can be, you essentially shove it forward a little tiny bit and then open it up. This is what it's going to look like on the inside. Those are going to be those rods that are going to run down through that little spot right down inside of there. Now I did see a couple of people on like a, some different videos I've seen that used a little trick where essentially you put like blocks or something up underneath the tub to help take the weight off of these to make it a lot easier to pull those out. So I got a couple of bricks here and I'm going to try that. So essentially to replace this, you're just going to pull up on this little rod right here pull out this little plastic piece and then you're just going to turn it so the rod goes right down through there and then it will fall right out that spot as well. I end up just using one of the bricks, uh, two with made the tub way too high and then you're going to want to replace these one at a time. So this is what it's going to look like inside the box. So again, you're going to have four of them in total. It's going to come with these little things, which some people said size was an issue. If it is, of course, you can still just use the other ones that it came with, not the end of the world. But I'll go ahead and take those out and try the fit. And as some people had said, this is going to be too big. So this little part here is actually too big to fit down inside of there. So this is going to be the old one. And you can see here that it's got the little clips and it just kind of goes right down inside of there and then clips in place. And you can kind of see some of the damage that has happened just from how much mine has been vibrating. So I'm going to go ahead and leave those in. It is also going to come with brand new of these. And those look like they're going to fit without any issue because they'll just kind of sit right there on top. Um, so I'll try that. If that doesn't work, then I can obviously still use the old one that I have of that as well, um, as long as they're not broken. But this bottom one for sure does not fit. So finish taking the old rod out. All I have to do is tilt my washer onto its side and then just pull it out the bottom. And then I'm going to stick that new one in. And it's again going to go just right up through that little hole. So this is going to be what the old one on my machine looked like. So you can see that it fits or looks relatively identical, just a little bit different on the colors. The new one's going to have that black on there. Then the old one is going to be more of like a silverish color. Um, so not sure. This one is really, really tight on this top. So this little part here is tight and this one moves up and down between those two. Whereas this one, this part moves up and down, but then this part down here does not. So this part here is probably what's going to keep it from vibrating. That part's not moving. Whereas on the old one, that one's easily sliding up and down and that's probably why it's vibrating so much. I just went ahead and used the old one um, for these little plastic parts here on top. As I said, that other one was sticking out a good amount. I don't want to necessarily take a chance. So I'll try it with these old ones. I'm going to keep the new ones. So that one there specifically, I'm going to keep it. And if it's still making that noise, I'll try replacing it with that. So all four of them are replaced. Not too terribly long. You can do it just one person. I did. The only issue that I ran into was this thing is constantly trying to fall. I did tape the lid shut. So that did help a little bit. But still, this back part is just constantly trying to fall. So... If you can have it up against a wall, that would be helpful. Or just have another pair of hands like to hold this back up while you're trying to pull these things out, get them replaced. Um, that's a good option. So all four of those are replaced. And I do recommend recalibrating it because you have messed with it. So I'll go through that process now. Not a requirement, but I want to give it every chance possible. I did want to show you exactly where the screws are. So this one here, this one here is going to be what that cover is. So it's just going to cover like the uh, electric that's going to run up to the top here. So you can't actually pull it all the way off because there is electric that runs in. And then this screw right there. So this is going to be this one here right next to the power cord. This one right here, they're going to be the two that are right below the slots. And then just this one right there. Now, if you have this sort of, of washing machine, so it's going to be the one that has like the six lights and the button, you're to recalibrate it, you're essentially just going to turn this. So you're just going to turn this kind of like to reset it, just turn it backwards and forwards a little bit. Just keep on turning it for a little bit. And then you're going to stop at the 12 o'clock position. So straight up and down. Then you're going to go all the way around one time back, and that's going to be counterclockwise. Then you're going to go three spots. One, two, three, back one, one. And then all of those are going to be flashing. 
So now you're going to turn this to the right to get to the rinse, and that's gonna be the recalibration. So all these lights are gonna be flashing, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and we're now on rinse. Now I push the start button, and then it's going to be flashing all the different lights. This is then going to recalibrate your washer. You wanna do this after replacing these. That's an important thing you'll want to keep in mind. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it recalibrate now, and then I'll come back with you once it is done. Recalibration only took a couple of minutes, so not too terribly long for that. And once it's done, all the lights will essentially just go off and then you'll know it is done. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw in a load of laundry. We'll see if it still vibrates even after replacing those. So I reached the spin cycle and I'm just gonna go ahead and show you that it is working without banging around. So even in the first spin cycle that it was on, we would have a lot of banging, like the tub would just bang a lot making a lot of noise. It would bang against the dryer here, and then we have a freezer on this side. So it'd be banging against both. And as you can see, it's not doing that now. So those did fix the issue. Those old, um, the little, they're, I think they're called dampeners. The little part at the top is not, it uh, essentially works its way loose on the bar. And so then it allows the tub to move too much, which is in turn what causes it to shake like that while it is spinning. So it appears that the issue is fixed. So works great.